Hey guys, welcome back to Fallout 4, and we're going to look at all the Tesla Science magazines. There are nine of them, and the first one is going to be in ArcJet Systems. And uh, these are kind of nice because for each one that you get, you'll get plus five critical hit damage with energy weapons. Now in the ArcJet Systems, as soon as you enter the building, you go down this way here. This is kind of a, a, a long and windy path here to get this. So I'm taking you from the beginning, and we're just going to keep following this around and then eventually we're going to uh, hit the uh, room, and we got to turn left once we're in this room. We're going to come out to where there's going to be a bunch of different ramps kind of branching off to different areas right here. you got the ramp in front of you. Now what we need to do is go in through this door here to the left, and then go up another uh, staircase over here to go up. Then once we're up here, right next to this terminal is our first nice. Tesla Science. Again, your energy weapons will permanently get 5% critical damage increase so for all nine uh, nine of them it's 45 percent damage increase now the next one is going to be in the makra fish packing this is very far northeast of the map as far as you can go once you enter the fish packing area uh, on the first level here in the center is this platform you can hit this button and it's going to lower this platform here so we're just going to take this down to the uh to the bottom there's only two layers to this uh, fish packing now once you exit the elevator turn left and then we're going to continue counterclockwise uh, just make a long wide counterclockwise uh, path here and this will take you eventually to where we need to be there's going to be a bunch of enemies here the first time you're here of course now once you enter this room here you're going to see a the stairs going up, long stairs. Don't go up, instead go underneath and continue back. And then you're gonna find this one in the corner next to the body lying uh, on the ground there. So pick that up off the table, get another 5% critical hit damage. Now next one is in Reeb Marina. This is a little south of uh, the previous location, just northeast of the city. Now this one's nice because you don't have to actually zone into any area. So this is going to go into this building here. We're looking for the kitchen. And before you find yourself something to eat, look at the table right here and pick up the magazine. Excellent. Now we're going to head to number four, and this is going to be at the Rocky Cave uh, or Virgil's Laboratory. It's the same thing. Go to the very southwestern part of the map. You're going to find this cave... And then inside of this cave, uh, which of course you'll find Virgil, but inside of here, straight ahead of us, is going to be our fourth of nine Tesla Science magazines. Excellent. Now number five, Poseidon Energy. Uh, this I actually got a little early in the game, uh, as you can tell by the green UI there. What I did is I entered from the roof. Now you guys may remember this clip here. This is part of my bobblehead series because there's a bobblehead sitting right next to it. Now if you enter from the uh, the, top of the roof, just go down one level. Now there was a big guy there. I was too low of a level to kill him. Now I can destroy him, but all we need to do is just go down a, one layer and then it's going to be in a room right behind where we saw that big guy. But I'm just kind of going around trying to uh, kite him away from the uh, the magazine and the bobblehead, which we'll see here in just a second. So from the roof, just go down one level and you'll find the bobblehead here, the endurance bobblehead. And then just to the left of it on the table, same table, is the Tesla Science. So two for one there. Now we're going to head to number six. This is in the hallucinogen uh area and this is in the city of Boston kind of in the middle and this one's easy once you enter it uh, we need to go down through the door here to the left go straight but in order to go straight you have to actually go down and around the pathway was uh, collapsed so take the little detour route up here go to the end of this hall as far as you can go turn left and you'll see this one on the desk in the back left corner hell yeah now number seven. Now this one is kind of complicated. Mass fusion building. You're not going to be able to get this until way later in the game. Um, pretty much close towards the end. Now of course you can come back here and free roam anytime you want. But if you uh, once you've uh, unlocked this, you're going to go in through the front door and you have to go up to the fifth floor. This is where the strength bobblehead is, and it'll be right there on the 
on the uh, statue. So from the fifth floor, you'll now have access to this elevator, which was previously locked to you. Again, you cannot be able to get here until pretty much at the end of the game. Now at this point, we just went up one level, so we're on the sixth floor. So we're gonna go straight back here, and then we're gonna take a ramp up to the seventh floor. Now the next room is where the glass ceiling is located. So once you get here, and if you look up, it goes way up to the 29th floor, I believe. Keep going back this way, don't go up any further, but going over here on this blue computer console is our seventh magazine. Next two are pretty quick, General Atomics Factories, number eight. This is in the southeastern part of the city. And this is easy, as soon as you enter this facility, just go up to the second floor and then we're gonna backtrack to uh, above the location from which you entered. So above the front lobby is this room, and on the desk over here is the magazine. Excellent. Pick that up and we're gonna go and get our final one. Again, with each of these giving you a plus 5% critical damage with energy weapons. Now this one's at University Point, just a little south from our previous location. And University Point has many buildings. This one uh, you wanna go into is Sedgwick Hall. So once you enter this, we have to go up to the third floor, but it's real quick and short. So here's our first floor, second floor. I go up these blue stairs and we're on the third floor. And just head this way, back a couple rooms. It's the computer room here. And you see it sitting right there on the desk. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. And of course, if you haven't already, subscribe. And we'll see you soon.